So yeah, chaos, awesome. I mean, for my for my money, my my story is basically about the same as you, GD. I mean, I you know my my parents bought it thinking it'll be uh, you know used for schoolwork um, <laughs> before the days of uh, Microsoft Office and everything was invented and put onto PCs in the first place. So yeah, I probably spent about a week um, learning to program the, the 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 screen to change to about four different four or five different colours, and it was straight in with the uh, with the game. So. <laughs> So yeah, that that really worked for them, didn't it? Um, I, I but, remember when they they first sold it. It was actually supplied with a couple of I think it was Tazword, um, and a, and a couple of other sort of office packages as such. Um, you know, nothing that you could ever actually do anything with. I don't think. But um, yeah, they they definitely had a few um, sort of word processing programs, um, albeit very basic. Um, you know, with the intention that you know people would use it for work and school work and everything else. Um, but like you say, you know, the games were just sort of took over and it become a games console, really. It did, yeah. And it's uh, I, I don't don't know about you, but last count when uh, when it got to I finally got trading in for actually I, I went straight up to a Mega Drive. I kind of skipped the the whole Master System and NES. Unfortunately, I've you know. Learn from my yeah, mistakes and got yeah, one now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, mate, yeah, yeah. call myself a retro presenter. <laughs> I've learned from my mistake now. Obviously, I've uh, owned just about everything that's been released, but at the time, you know, the spectrum was that good. I mean, we were relatively poor, to be honest, you know, so at the time. So I was on the spectrum quite a lot, and it got to the stage where you were buy, you could go down with pocket money. Um, two pound would buy you about two, get two or three games even. You know, on tape, and uh, it was just a revolution, wasn't it? You know, I think, think last last count I had, I had something like 150, 200 games. It was ridiculous. Yeah, well, that's right. Yeah, you, you, you could you could build up a massive collection of games because the games were quite cheap. Um, one thing as well, um, you used to be able to get compilations, which are very very rarely done now. Um, you know, you used to you could sometimes get eight, nine, ten games on on one cassette, but it's it's something that's not really done now. No, no, it's not. Um, forgive me, I'm just um, looking a different direction there, GD. Fill in, fill in! Yeah, well, I mean, uh, <laughs> can I say? Can I say? How professional am I? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're supposed to be the producer, movie. I'll produce it, don't worry. I'll produce my ass off after this. Uh, you'll, you'll, you'll not see the seams. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, it'll, be like, it'll, it'll run just like the Spectrum 4 8 8 8 then. <laughs> like that you mean? Take, take four hours, to, four hours to play. Well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we have to reload it. <laughs> well, it's been done before. Uh, yeah, little yeah. intro for the for the GDs like there. <laughs> <laughs> you, um, what what they'll probably see is I'm pointing where I'm pointing here. There's like a million uh, LOLs just appearing right now. You know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you were saying. Go on. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, like I say, compilations, I mean, one of the most famous ones was they sold a million um, and they had four games that racked up a million sales. Um, but the unique thing about it was, and it's something that I don't think would ever happen again, is that it was four different companies that had four different games on it. Um, it was Ocean, US Gold, um, oh God, uh, I think it was Konami. And uh, another company, I can't remember which, um, but you know, four different companies all, all joining together to create this one cassette, um, and the profits were split four ways. Um, you know, it's something that's just never going to happen anymore. I don't, I don't think anymore. No, no, not really. I mean, we're, we're lucky to get Sonic on a Nintendo console, for example. Never mind it, for yeah. God, Ocean. That they used to produce some awesome games on Ocean. I'd love the thing. Yeah, ne yeah. Never Ending Store is my first Ocean game, as I remember. One of the text-based adventures based on the film. I don't know if any UGDs right. there will uh, remember that one. They, they did Batman as well, didn't they? I think the, the movie version of Batman. They did, yes, they did. Um, they did I'll. Um, they, well, I think that's what, one of their main things, wasn't it? I, I, I'm actually uh, going to um, quick probably segue in some research in a minute and uh, find out what happened to Ocean, because I, I, I did have that on top of my head, but it's not right in front of me, the way the setup I've got right here where I'm filming the first show. So I'll um, yeah. stick some links in the doobly-doo for that. 
Um, but yeah, they did that. Um, I felt Batman's one of my one of the games I actually remember. I'll uh, stick some footage on in a minute for you guys who remember it. And uh, talking about my own personal favourite game, um, which actually I think still holds up today, probably could be released on the DS or something with um, you know slightly updated graphics. Is a game called Trapdoor. Um, now that Brilliant. that was a, yeah. I've, I've, obviously, I've, uh, you, you remember playing that yourself. That is also on the um, the Spectrum uh, you know uh, website that I'll be putting in the uh, show notes for you. But uh, yeah, it was a good stuff. I mean, it was a good game based on a awesome awesome cartoon and apogee and all you whippersnappers out there get on youtube type in trapdoor you will not be disappointed it's kind of like ardman but you know kind of the early days as it were yeah way before it's time brilliant brilliant show really funny and uh, yeah i mean what was that 1986 i believe trapdoor um yeah. that was that was piranha games that one as i remember uh, written by the uh, by the great Don Priestley, if he, if, um, if if you guys remember that, um, you know he, he's he did Trapdoor, he did uh, Meteoroids on the Spectrum, he did uh, he did the Benny Hill game, if anyone remembers that, Benny Hill's Madcap Chase, that was a, that was an awesome one as well. I'll, you know you need to look out for that one. And uh, another game which you can tell is his called Popeye, which is my mum's favourite game. Funnily enough, one of my earliest uh, memories uh, of the Spectrum is. Uh, Getting my mum addicted to to games and and even even today she still plays Popeye to this day on that website which is just amazing it shows you the uh, you know, the playability of the things even back then in in 1985 you know. Well, actually, you're saying that my mum actually used to play Chucky Egg, uh, yeah. um, which was a great, great game, game in itself. Um, yeah. You used to have Chucky Egg, um, Chucky Egg to um, you know both great games. Oh yeah, man. That, well, uh, that's part of the uh, the one of the when we do a proper spectrum expose and actually, you know, decent, you know, good facts and you know, I'll have a special show for that. I've, that's obviously one of the games we'll we'll uh, we'll be covering along with, uh, of course, the Dizzy series, which is one of the biggest um, ones on the spectrum, as as, as I'm sure uh, GD will, will remember. Did you ever play a Dizzy um, GD? Did you have any of those yeah. ones? Yeah, um, I think I pretty much had all the Dizzy games at, at some point or another. Um, there was, yeah, you had Tre Treasure Island Dizzy, um, Fantasy Island Dizzy. Um, yeah, I mean, there was all pretty similar games, but there was all, I mean, it was sort of a, a, a platformer that, um, you know, again, sort of a bit, bit ahead of its time, really.